OMB University is one of the pioneers of modern quantum science and together with its partners from the University of Stuttgart and the Max Planck Institute for Solid State Research has developed the Center for Integrated Quantum Science and Technology. One of the main objectives of this unique center is to transfer fundamental knowledge into technological developments. This requires activities across disciplines, from physics, material science and engineering, to life and information science. For example, to advance quantum sensing, to medical imaging, and to explore new materials for quantum computing. World-class research facilities such as the Center for Quantum Bioscience and collaborations with external partners provide excellent conditions to shape the challenges of the 21st century. Despite globalization, there are still different rules in different countries. In the same way, there's a fundamental difference between the world in which we live and the microscopic world of electrons and atoms. That world, the microcosmos, is ruled by quantum theory. Here, electrons and atoms are waves. They do not have a specific momentum and position, and they are entangled with each other. A phenomenon dating back to Erwin Schrödinger and Albert Einstein, who was born here in Ulm. In a paper together with Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen in 1935, they found that properties of microscopic particles do not even exist till we observe them. And amazingly enough, this phenomenon can be used to create what we call today the quantum technologies of the 21st century. The most important and most striking phenomena of quantum theory are Bose-Einstein condensates, where atoms move and march in unison. Such Bose-Einstein condensates can be used not only to test the foundations of quantum mechanics and the foundations of gravity, but they can also be employed as sensors. They play a crucial role in the Institute of Quantum Technologies of the German Aerospace Center here in Ulm. We are here at the Institute of Theoretical Physics at the Center of Quantum Biosciences. And in our research, we concern ourselves with the interface between the quantum technologies and the life sciences. But what is this interface? Well, have a look at the plant outside of my office. This plant does photosynthesis. It takes sunlight and carbon dioxide and turns this into chemical energy and all it needs for its growth and life. To understand why photosynthesis is so efficient and so robust, we really need to use quantum mechanics. But of course, we cannot only do theory about these things, we also have to do experiment to test our predictions and sharpen our understanding. And for these purposes, we develop quantum technologies that allow us to open new windows of observation into biological systems. Another interface between quantum technologies and the life sciences is represented by medical imaging. In our research, we are optimizing now protocols to improve MRT. And here we see um, a plot where red indicates high efficiency. And the more red we see, the better the protocol. And this is the result of a numerical optimization. Welcome to the lab of quantum science at the new Center for Quantum Biosciences at Ulm University. Here in our labs, we are working on transfer of fundamental quantum science to novel technologies, with particular focus in the field of computing, information transmissions, and uh, novel sensors for biosciences. 
the sensors will be more sensitive but will also provide better special resolution, enabling imaging at nanoscale. Material is crucial for every technology. Classical electronics is based on a silicon. For our quantum technology, we have chosen diamond. This synthetic diamond crystal have par per billion impurity level and allow to introduce individual dopants atom at wish at well desired location. These atoms can be imaged using advanced self-made microscope that use laser light and microwave fields to control and read out the state of individual atoms.